For they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device which they are not able to perform. Yeah, is that is okay? Yeah, okay. Uh, on the dollar bill, you'll see the um, the uh, on the back of the dollar bill, you'll see the symbol on the left hand side of the bill, which is uh, I know it coeptus, which means our enterprise is now a success, or our enterprise is crowned with success. I know it coeptus. So you say, fine, so you have an enterprise and is now crowned with success. What enterprise are you talking about? Novas ordo seclorum. Novas is novas, meaning new. Ordo is order, and seclorum is where we get the word secular, meaning the world. So it's new order of the world, the new world order. George Bush's new world order is now a success. But the problem is this was put on the dollar bill back in 1934. 1934 is when the Federal Reserve actually finally took total control of the United States monetary system and that's when they said it is now a success because this is a symbol, this is an emblem of a secret society. A secret society of Freemasons called the Illuminati, the German Bavarian Illuminati. They were a, a secret society founded in the south of and in the south of, uh, it, of uh, Germany, they were called the Illuminati, the Illuminated Ones, the Enlightened Ones. They uh, began to, they connected themselves to another group of, of uh, Freemasons in France, in the south of France, referred to as the uh, Pierre de Sion, French Grand Orient Temple Masons. And so this symbol today, while it's on the, on the back of a one dollar bill, it is also incidentally on a document in the British Museum and in the Louvre Museum both have some of the original writings of that sect of Freemasons in Germany that are today on display and on one of the documents it has that exact symbol, Anuit Coeptus Novus Odosiclorum, and that was in 1774 that the Bavarian Illuminati drew up their plans for what they were going to do in America and how they were going to do it. And that's, so that's not a new, that's not just from 1934, that goes all the way back to 1774, 1775, it's a symbol of a secret society. The uh, triangle at the top, with the light emanating from around it, is Horus. The god of the ancient Egyptians, of course, this is an Egyptian pyramid, you don't find pyramids in America, you find them in Egypt. And that pyramid is the, is uh, the symbol of the eye, was in the Egyptian religion Horus, which was the newborn son. Every morning when the sun came up, his name was Horus. There was, um, that was the solar divinity in Egypt. Horus was God's son, the light of the world, who is risen. He is our risen savior, our risen. And so Horus was referred to as God's son, and that's why the light is emanating from around, because it's the sun. The sun is a round eyeball of God the ancient Egyptians believed. The pupil of God was God was the sun, and he's watching you. And therefore, the sun was, was very bright, and so today we even say someone who is extremely intelligent is brilliant. They're bright. And that's why God is, of course, the most brilliant of all. Therefore, the sun is the most brilliant because it's God's eye. All right, anyway, there are 13 layers on the pyramid. And the 1776 at the bottom is uh, 1776. A lot of people think it's because of the country being founded in 1776. It has nothing to do with that. As I said, this is on a, doc a document published back in 1774, 75, and then in 1776 the Roman numerals were, uh, appeared on it in Europe. So what it amounted to is that the 1776 was when this secret society actually formed itself into a secret society and put itself into operation. Like any other secret society or fraternal order, there's a few years in the formative stages. And then there's a time when they actually get a charter and come together and actually become an, act an actual organization. And then they get a charter from the government and they actually are a legal organization. They were in operation in the 1760s, 1770s, but it wasn't until 1776 that they actually uh, made themselves into a coherent order, and it was called the Order and Sect of the Illuminati. Um, they were the basis for what we call today in our country the Bavarian 
Um, Illuminati was the basis for what we call today the Colombian faction. The Colombian faction of the Illuminati came here right after this government was formed, and that's where we get today Columbia, Columbia, uh, this Columbia Space Shuttle, Columbia Movies, Columbia Television, you know, Columbia Records, everything, Columbia University. Uh, as a matter of fact, Columbia TV, Columbia Broadcasting System, CBS. What is the symbol for CBS? It's the all-seeing eye of CBS. It's the Colombian faction of a secret society that calls themselves the Colombians. And that's why our government is in the District of Columbia, because these guys own our government. They print our money, and they own not only the government, but they own you. You are their property. As a matter of fact, when you're born, your birth certificate, on the bottom of the birth certificate, it says the Department of uh, Commerce. It is a property of the Department of Commerce because you are nothing more than a piece of commercial material. That's why if you're out of work, you don't go to the unemployment office. You go to the office for, uh, what is it called, human resources, because you're just a human resource. So in other words, these guys print the money, they run the country, and they own you and they own everything around it. And so they make the laws, and that's why they can decide who can kill who, and who can get away with who, and who can get away with whatever, because they make the laws and they decide, all right? Um, the new order of the world, our enterprise is now a success. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise.